And a 100-year-old iconic tree in Fort Lauderdale has now been moved again. It was moved about a year ago to make way for a new development, but residents are concerned that the tree did not appear to be doing well. Local 10's Laren Livingston has the update. And there she grows for 100 years. She's stood, in fact, a couple hundred feet from where she stands now is where she used to be. And now the question and concern is, is will she be able to stand another 100 years? Regal and majestic and way more resilient than anyone would have ever anticipated. My concern is that the tree isn't going to survive. Dave Marino says he and the rain tree have been neighbors for more than a decade. It really is sad that this tree is probably two thirds of what it was originally because they've cut it back so much. The leaves on the tree aren't very hardy. You know, it's alive, obviously, but it's not thriving. At some six stories tall, the rain tree is likely the biggest of its kind in the country and shaded in saga. The tree was moved for the first time last year, which rustled a few leaves. A developer invested more than a million dollars to preserve and relocate the tree to make room for two residential towers, a marina, restaurants, a hotel, and a yacht valet along the New River in Fort Lauderdale billion dollar project. The city only granted permission to move the tree if the developer agreed to fork over a million dollars in the event the tree dies within the next five years. One million dollars doesn't amount to anything, so I don't think it's that important to the developer that this tree lives or dies. In a statement, the developer says our rain tree has never been healthier. We are happy to report that her preservation has been a success. The best solution would have been doing nothing to the tree and preserving it and keeping the environment the way it was. The tree's final roots were planted on July 21st, right next to the river, where passing boats hopefully won't be the undoing of its branches reaching out over the water, and new soil won't be the undoing of this 100-year-old tree. Part of her new location includes a new kind of built up, shored up seawall here. Not sure how long those braces will be in place. You can see they're kind of securing the tree, but they're there and the developer says that they are committed to making sure that this tree lasts as long as it does. In fact, they plan on naming one of the residences that they're planning to put up here, the Riverwalk Rain Tree Residences for the tree, of course. In Fort Lauderdale, Laren Livingston, Local 10 News.